Hey guys, Screen Zero here, back with another Commander Kong 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. We have another 2v2 here for you today. It's a 2v2 week, and I definitely really enjoy casting 2v2s. They're really fun to cast, and they're really exciting to watch. But we are, we are on one of my most favorite 2v2 maps, which is Tiberium Shaft. It's been around for a long time, and it crops up every now and then, but it's a very good map, in my opinion. A lot of people compare it to what Red Zone should have been. Um, but uh, we'll get back to that in a second because we have the game actually starting. In the top right-hand side, we have Stephen Donald Nashington playing as the Steel Talons forces there, trying to take this forward spike. So Steve Nash is on the top. It's going to be top versus bottom. He will, I believe, grab that spike. No, he gets killed through the spike. That's supposed to be fixed. That's really unfortunate. Uh, anyway, Steve Nash's ally up here in the top left is going to be Z plus Dipsy as Reaper 17. Did you go for your spike? Yes, you're going to get that. Did you have scouts? Yeah, he did. Uh, Artheon Senna is Zocom in the bottom left-hand side. And we have his ally Futurama as the Cyan something. Black Hand, there you go. So Black Hand and Zocom versus Steel Talons and Reaper. That's an interesting combination. This should be a good game. So yes, it is top versus bottom. Z plus Tipsy will get two spikes to his name. Nashington, unfortunately, does not get the spike he wanted, and he built quite a few squads because you can see there's quite a few left over. Although he's gone for another combat engineer, he needs to be careful that no raider buggy comes out, and luckily for him, it's going to be a flame wall. Not really lucky for him that it's going to be a flame rush, but yeah, few times like, I'm just going to flame rush you. Uh, so he hasn't built a buggy in this situation. He's just built a harvester first. Senna's just doing what Senna does, and that, build, that is a push F2 and F4 uh, because he's just building economy. Uh, meanwhile, scouts are happening over here. Uh, Z plus Tipsy, just power micring a little bit here. And he's probably just going to go into an eco game. Reaper 17, extremely powerful uh, on the ground. We have an airfield open here from Nashington. Now, he's getting flame rushed, but at the same time, he's still a talent. So he could have just built like one Titan, and then he would have been immune to all flame rushes. But he's decided to spend all that extra dough getting an airfield out. And he, he obviously knew about this. Um, he must have scouted it or something along those lines there. Uh, these two walkers, that's enough, obviously, to destroy the uh, the flame tank there. He's not going to get anything. There is a second... Uh, is there a Reckoner? No, I think it was just one flame tank. Yeah, because he's got the squad, the squad over here. Flames this down. Futurama holds a spike. So Futurama has one spike. Senna has nothing. Tipsy has... T what the hell is this? Oh, my God. Is Tipsy not aware of that? I mean, he would have had to drive past the spike. Oh man, he's going to need dev tanks, and he's going to need them yesterday. He doesn't have a nerve center. Oh, does he have one? Yes, he does. He's put it in his allies' base, so maybe for safekeeping, maybe to throw center off. But uh, it's a predator tank push, and you know, this is obviously very powerful, but if dev tanks start coming out, obviously dev tanks can, you know, with their beam and with the tib right here, I mean, he's actually going to put down photon cannons. So we're going to try to take out that power plant. That's really annoying, by the way, because obviously Tipsy is very heavily reliant on that. Oh, the Orcas are smashing Senna. Senna's losing three. No, he, he missed it. He messed it up. He leaves a Harvester behind. That's terrible. That fly, that, that uh, spice being flamed down. That is disastrous. Z-Tipsy has no power, so these Photon Cannons are not actually doing anything. He's got one of the dev tanks charged up, but it's a tower line as well. And the towers, of course, I think are just to draw fire because, again, the dev tanks will shoot at them and that will use their beam up. And there is a cooldown on when they can recharge that as well. So if they unload their beam too quickly, they won't be able to charge it back up. We have a flame squad here from Futurama. I believe that must have crossed the map, maybe. He, oh, he's actually going to use the stasis. That's obviously a big usage there. Tipsy's in a little bit of trouble. I'd use this opportunity to try to charge these dev tanks back up and get at least one more out in the meantime because his economy is pretty shot. He's got four har no, he's got five harvesters, but they're all stuck on one ref. He's going to go for that tip charge right there. He's going to grab that. He needs to wanna, probably want to clean that up. I mean, he could just crush the the squad there instead of unloading his, his green beam at it because again he's unloading green beam and now he's just changing targets again that dev tank he really can't afford to lose one of the dev tanks right now he's not pulling it back there you go I think maybe he was trying to pull it back but it got stuck all the action is centered on this area Senna meanwhile down here looks like he's got some defense for his harvest his future arm is going to try to defend him but Senna is really going to be pushing it because he's only on two harvesters I think Tipsy will just weather this because, yeah, he's, he's stalling. He can't get any dev tanks out, although he is managed to destroy these. But here, the Orcas are actually now coming to assist. 
and there is actually a Sam turret being placed down here because Senna does have his MCV here. He doesn't care. He's just going to go in and try to take out as many as he can. He lost one orc. He's probably going to lose a second orc. He's still in range. He needs to get out of there. He's trying to move around the top of the map, but yeah, only one orc are getting away. There's a flame tank here as well, and there's a battle marker over. There's a flame tank over there. There's so much happening. I can't actually catch it all. The dev tank now firing at the war factory. He's going to lift up the drone platform. Uh, meanwhile, this flame tank is destroying, completely destroying. That's the Titan does take it out, but the war factory will fall. These dev tanks now getting free repairs. They are charged up, and Senna is falling now. He's falling. Even a Guardian Cannon there. They're getting desperate. That Flame Tank will level what was ever over here, but uh, look at that. Tipsy almost losing his drone ship. He can't land that. He can't land that until it's secure because he's in deep trouble. And there's actually infantry here now. Futurama is just like, hey, I'm going to attack you as well with, with infantry. He's got the Flame Disciple already. And Tipsy now, these dev tanks aren't going to do anything. These dev tanks are useless. He's going to have to sell his whole base he's, and, and back out of this area. He needs to make sure he has three grand remaining. He's got two spices disposal so he can probably recover um, as long as he gets some of these harvesters away the dev tanks are useless against this and they've actually pushed him out of his corner this is crazy this is a crazy game meanwhile senate just has all that that harvest with literally nothing in the health bar this is crazy this is a crazy game this is like the suburban game i just casted which you'll probably have seen because it'll probably be uploaded before this one but these dev tanks are going to slip away nice veterancy on that one there they're just going to manage to equate. There's a tower here as well. Uh, that spike was destroyed, I believe. No, that strike is not... That's not strike. Uh, uh, spike. Um, he, uh, Nash does not have AP ammo, though, so these towers are not particularly effective. He's got three of them here. There's actually a lot of man spam here without AP ammo. It's going to take too long to kill the Disciple Squad. He's going to be overrun. There is an Orca Strike coming in. Whoa, nice shot on that Orca Strike as well. Gets right on the, 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 the ledge there. That Titan is going to try to go in for a crush. He will crush some infantry, but he's going to be overrun. I mean, Nash is doing whatever he can to try to slow this down, and he's going to take the garrison there. That's a real pain because the towers are uh, pretty much powerless, although Tipsy to the rescue with the Buzzer Hive can clear this he instantly de garrisons so future armor is controlling this impeccably and he's pushed them right back as far as he can but he's not going to get any further now he's going to back off with what he's got senna has some units here getting buffed by the cabals actually you can see they do have the buffing on them uh from the cabals but they will have to back off well this is pretty intense there's a titan over there tipsy does he have he's got four dev tanks um, he can get, uh, there's actually no war factory from Nash, so, and Nash doesn't have a, a ref on his expansion. His economy is shot. Tipsy does not have a ref down here. I believe he's got one queued. There we go. Interesting placement there. I would have tried to place it maybe closer here, although he's got a lot of harvesters, which will long range mine. Uh, looks like Orc is being destroyed. Surely they could have just destroyed that one harvester before going down, but unfortunately not the case. Or maybe that was something else. I didn't actually see what it was. Senna has put a ref down here. Tipsy seems to be aware of it because he's beaconed it. He's going to put a second one down. Now, we don't have any Nod players in the game. so Well, no Nod players on the top team anyway. So, uh, placing those right close together is not terrible. Uh, they could be Firehawk bombed if they're too close together. I believe Futurama is the only one who hasn't really been attacked. And he's only just put a second ref down. So, he did really negate his own economy. This is weird. All four players really just completely disrespected their own economies. And now they're in really awkward positions. I mean, look at Senna's base. He's on the top left side center field. His main base has been pretty ravaged. Nash is kind of uh, gradually making his way over here. And Tipsy is now on this side of the map. So this is pretty crazy. I think a second ref is definitely on the cards for Tipsy. And to put it over here and he can take this field. The best part about this map is that there is a lot of Tiberium. On it. There's a lot of Tiberium. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 12 green fields on the map. So... Uh, effectively, uh, each player uh, gets three green fields um, at their disposal. Oh, no, sorry, four. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, hang on. Twelve, thirteen, four. There's sixteen uh, tib fields. Oh, my God. I forgot to count the ones that they start off with. So, sixteen Tiberian fields on a map that's this small. And this is what I was talking about with Master League before. This is like how they should have designed Red Zone Rampage. Um, if they wanted a small death pit level, it's a death match level, but I don't think it's a real death pit. It allows, the way the terrain is designed, it allows people to you know, adequately defend and adequately attack, and it forces them to go to the center at some point in time, but they have these side fields, and of course there's a little gap around them as well. EMPs control spikes, so uh, Futurama does hold that spike, by the way. Uh, fun fact, capturing more than one spike has no effect, you don't get two of them, uh, but obviously having a second spike if one's destroyed, obviously the other one 
will still grant you your ability. Uh, and Tipsy's going to come around here. He's got some shard launches. Buzz Swarm comes down. That's going to be the end of that infantry. Futurama, there's a bit of a gap here in this in his base, and he's going to be able to take down the tier two. Is he going for a tech center? I hope he's not going for a tech center. Whatever it was, whatever it was, it's still queued, so obviously not. Uh, he's going to be able to pop these units. There's only one shard walker left though. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, the devs can try to crush, but at the end of the day, these, actually these buzzers are still going. Are you serious? Those buzzers are still going, and they're just murdering these infantry squads one after the other. Laser turret comes down. He's still not able to clean the last ones up. He will finally clean them up. The, those two shard walkers, the last remaining ones, will be destroyed. Two dev tanks will back off again. That one with the veterans is there. More shard walkers coming, but they're just going to back off. Needs to realize that he does hold that uh, EMP control center. Center is now starting to get quite large. Yeah, four and two there, and he's got a, another ref down here on this base as well. A second war factory comes down. He's not interested in any technology at all. Though there goes the tier two. Um, no, he's not queuing anything further, so I think that's just so he can get his upgrades. Yeah, he's going for APMO straight away. Meanwhile, Futurama has moved to the center of the field. So yeah, Futurama and Senna are actually starting to look like they're gonna, their eco is gonna get a little bit out of control. Tipsy has made short work of that field though. He's got a tech center down. Did he get conversion reserves? No, he didn't get conversion reserves. He could get that first if he's gonna go tripods because he's got the dev tanks and the dev tanks will benefit from it. Uh, Nash, meanwhile, he's got APMO, he's got Titans and some some uh, wolves but yeah if he comes up against Senna's tech Senna doesn't have tech though so doesn't have to worry about trying to rush into any type of behemoth all sides are going to just chill a bit the problem is if you look at what Senna and Future Armor have done they've they've cut the map diagonally and they've they've kept Nash and Tipsy are now confined to just one corner and that secures off a lot of Tiberium for Future Armor and Senna yes they haven't harvested it but they can harvest these back fields very safely. They can harvest these fields relatively safely. Nash and Tipsy will now be forced to go to these center fields. And it's going to get messy. It's going to get messy real fast. They'll have no choice but to go down here. Future Arm's going to lose a couple of tanks. Uh, unfortunately, not paying attention. Battle markers over here. Uh, there are Behemoth out from uh, from Steve Nash and Senna. What happened to his army? I'm pretty sure he had an army somewhere. The armor is moving down here. So it's actually moved away from the base and now... Nash is kind of caught on the fact that there is no army here, and he's actually leveled the refinery now, so Senna's actually in a little bit of trouble. His army moved across the map. It's very far out of position. Yeah, he can he can hit Nash, but he, is he going all the way around? This seems to be a bit excessive. Senna left himself wide open to an attack, and he's just got some Predator tanks. You know what? These behemoths are just going to shell from range. There's some Titans here as well, so um, Senna is in a lot of trouble trying to pump out some infantry squads. Yeah, he's really got nothing to defend over here, hasn't he? He's in deep trouble. The army is now turning around. Those dev tanks were cleared up. Yeah, the army is just so far out of position. He's going to maybe attack Tipsy. Future armor is going to have to help, though. Uh, the MCV is destroyed. An obelisk will come down. He'll drop one of the behemoths, but he's going to have to do better than that. No, it's going to go down now. This whole base is now in terrible danger of falling. And mind you, with no MCV, he, he this is his only war factory, so center is borderline out of the game right now if that goes down. Nash is overrunning the area. Meanwhile, there's an attack down here. I don't think they're going to get in. A stasis comes down. They may have to back off from the attack. Nash is going to turn some of his forces around. It's not a huge army here. Those three behemoths are a real big problem, though. And there's some tripods here. No upgrades on the tripods. But you know what? Senna's army is just being dealt with here. I mean, there's a line of buzzer hives. There's shard walkers. There's some tripods here. So Tipsy's just, just sitting and he's just defending. He's purely just defending right there. That's all he needs to do. And Nash now is making a move over here. And Senna, that's his last war factory, I believe. If that goes down, he's going he's gonna to barracks. It's going to fall. Oh my god, he's in so much trouble now. Does he have anything? No, he doesn't have the ability to rebuild. He's got a barracks at his disposal. Future Armor is going to be fighting a 1v2 very shortly. And again, he's not getting in. He did move his MCV. It took critical damage, though. I'm not sure if he can actually survive or keep that going there. He's trying to put the repair tool down. There is an obelisk there, which is going to do work. He's going to try to recover one of the husks. Will he EMP that obelisk? No, he does, he's actually got no power. Oh my god, if he loses an MCV now, that's going to be critical. And that tripod there, he does power back up, but it is going to go down. He No, he doesn't EMP, he loses power again. So the MCV is down, but there are two obelisks here. He needs some anti-infantry. Meanwhile, Nash is making short work of this base. Senna has been completely cleaned up this whole area. I just can't believe that Senna did that. He just left his whole base wide open, completely exposed, and now he's actually been defeated. He's just tapped out of the game. That was really silly by Senna. I'm not sure what he was planning to do there. He knew Nash had an army on his doorstep. And he just opened the door and said, come right in. Uh, now his army got, obviously got cleaned up on the flank here. Future armor is starting to make progress now. Those two obelisks obviously thinned out all the armor. 
and uh, there is a redeemer here now. Luckily for Tipsy, the MCV was destroyed, so it's going to limit the ability of this push Spectre artillery coming out and triple hand of Nod infantry there. So there are behemoths here that will need to be dealt with. Um, oh, big EMP blast comes down there. Big EMP blast. That would have been from... Uh, no, Tipsy actually holds that EMP, EMP spike, so he took it at some point from, from Futurama. The Behemoth have to change targets. They were shooting at the Redeemer. They had to change targets, and luckily the Orca Strike helps out there. Those Behemoths will barely stand there, by the way. Uh, meanwhile, this base here, Futurama trying to defend it with an Obelisk. Uh, but yeah, it's getting messy. There's an attack over here as well. There's not going to be enough Wolverines to defend against this. The Harvesters, though, are just being targeted. He's just targeting the Harvesters, and now he's just going to back off. So... There you go, he's just going to pull back, he might not be able to escape, I'm not sure. The Redeemer was destroyed by an EMP from the tripod, oh look at that animation, there you go. But this is the thing, it's getting out of, it's getting out of hand for Futurama now. Um, I mean, Tipsy isn't actually that strong, I just realised. I mean, he doesn't actually have any units aside from two tripods and harvesters, that's really all he's got. And Nash doesn't actually have any structures here, he's got one tower down, so he's, he's actually pushing him back. There's a battle marker over here. That's nothing. Uh, yeah, Futurama is actually fighting back against. He's managing to push forward. This, oh, there goes an elite behemoth there. A phase comes down. Oh, it doesn't hit the behemoth. It only hits the, the front one. It didn't hit the back one. And the specters, and then they take the husk out as well. He does phase the gunwalker, which is going to be just annoying. You're going to try to split your infantry. Um, there are two specter artillery here. Uh, this behemoth is just going for it. Um, I think he's trying to crush. No, he's just going to pull them back. Yeah, he's trying to crush with a behemoth. I don't think I've ever seen someone try to do that before. He gets a veterancy on the on the uh, the behemoth there. There you go. Um, the rest of these bases are slowly being cleaned up by Nash. I mean, there is still that ref there. He can long range mine. He's got some harvesters here. So Futurama is... And yeah, look at these harvesters. They're bringing in some tib from over here. Look at that. There's actually quite a few. So Futurama is bringing in cash from multiple locations. Um, so this is a problem. I mean, Nash doesn't have a lot of... A, he doesn't really have any economy to speak of. Tipsy's trying to expand, but Nash is burning himself dry. Rage Gen will go off. And that Spectre Artillery... Oh, he, he could have moved. Oh, he could have moved, but unfortunately he redeployed again. You really got to control uh, Spectre Artillery uh, properly and effectively there. Uh, we'll take out another Behemoth. I believe he's only got one left. Yeah, he just wasn't able to build them up, or maybe he just decided to stop doing that. And that Spectre Artillery will be destroyed. The Redeemer will back off. He needs repairs. He's missing a, a garrison. Uh, he, he needs to like, get an engineer in there. Uh, but somehow, just infantry is still uh, doing the work. But this, this front line has not really moved. I mean, all the buildings are getting thin, but it's still the same area. Uh, meanwhile, battle over here. We have two Reaper tripods out by themselves. They don't have any upgrades. Tipsy didn't get any upgrades for them. I mean, I know he's pushing cash, but... Or he's, or he's tight for cash. Another MCV is here now. Oh, takes critical damage because there's five behemoth there. Six behemoth. He's not going to be able to fight that. Three, four, five. There's actually seven behemoth. And with this shockwave artillery coming down, see you later. And an EMP comes down as well. And that's going to be the end of the Redeemer here. He's going to lose the Redeemer. And there you go. It's going to go down. And I think that might have been the last hurrah for Futurama because... Nash, he was just able, yeah, he was just able to build up some uh, some critical mass of behemoth at the end. Obviously not like a huge mass, but enough to get the job done. And Futurama's decided not to continue to fight that one there, so uh, having trouble uh, expanding to the other side of the map. He did lose a lot of harvesters as well, so that was a bit rough. You can see his money is through the roof, obviously, because Senna surrendered, and he he gets all of Senna's money, uh, which Senna would have been rich, by the way, because, you know, with, with one war factory, <clears throat> he wouldn't have been able to build anything. And once he lost his MCV, he still stayed in the game for a while. So he would have just like given him like a, a huge amount of money. And not to mention all the buildings and the harvesters that he would have got him as well. So that's why you see that there. But you still obviously need to do something with that. Um, tipsy, 116,000. What did Nash get? Nash got a whole oh, look at that. They both got an identical amount. 116.58, 116. Uh, sorry, one. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's 111,000. That's 116,000. So yeah, Nash got about five grand more. Uh, Senna only got about 90 grand, but I mean, Futurama got 165, so yeah, they're actually going to have more money, uh, 256,000 or a quarter of a million, 
uh, compared to the 227 of Team 2. But that was a really good game. Again, I'm really liking the fact that people are sending me these games now because they don't see them on the tab sometimes. And they're really exciting to watch. If you have any 2v2s out there, any, any games, send them to me. I'm only looking for good games and you kind of, you know, need to should watch replays before you send them to me. I'm pro predominantly favoring, obviously, more well-known players. But yeah, if you got a good game, uh, send it to me. But anyway, my name's Green Zero. I hope you enjoyed that game. Well done to Tipsy and Nashington for winning that game. And I'll catch you all in the next video.